Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. In this series at Discovery, we are looking at certain practices that were important to Jesus and why they should be important to us also. And today we have one of our newer lead team members, Owen Brown. Uh, very happy Father's Day to you. How are you? Thank you. I'm <clears throat> equal parts happy and terrified to be here. <laughs> How are you with hot foods normally? I like hot foods, but by the smell coming off of this, I have a feeling we're going to experience a different level, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Well, let's get started. All right. Start on your right. <clears throat> Start on the right. That's very important. <clears throat> nice. Maybe a little bit warmer than I expected for the first one, but good. Good. So, and tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and how you became a follower of Jesus. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> um, so, I'm Owen. We, co we covered that already. I have uh, two awesome girls, Kaylee and Kelsey. Uh, I have a, a beautiful and extremely tolerant wife named Corey. And I say tolerant because a fun fact about me is I am um, pretty much an immature teenager wrapped in a 40-year-old's body, <clears throat> so she tolerates it as as well as anyone. I uh, grew up north of Butler, have lived in Pennsylvania all but four years of my life. And uh, we currently live in, in Mars and have been in the area for about 14 years. Ready for wing two. Ready. better <clears throat> it was easier good flavor so how is it that you and Corey came to call discovery home and what does it mean to you to be a part of its spiritual leadership yeah sure so when we moved to this area <clears throat> again about 14 years ago um, we were introduced to discovery by our cousins Jody and Liam um, Brennan's and from the the first time that I can remember coming and, and hearing a message there was something different about Discovery than, than churches that I had been a part of growing up or, you know, really any time. Um, and it was in the messages. It was the way that the message sort of took something to me that's always felt dated and just like not, not relevant to now and, and flipped that and made it to the point where it's, it, it feels like it is easily to, you're easy to apply to life now. It's relevant now. And, and the message has always stuck with me and sort of hooked me and uh, you know very quickly we called Discovery home and have never left uh, and in terms of the lead team <clears throat> the story with that like I got a text from Matt probably last summer and it was like hey can you meet for lunch and first of all Matt's never texted me invited me to lunch and second of all he gave no additional context with it so at the time I was in uh, Discovery students and on the relentless operations team and I thought well, I either did something really bad and I'm about to get the ax or I'm going to be asked to do something bigger. And uh, fortunately, it was the latter. And I told him, I think, a couple hours after the lunch meeting that I was in and I was honored. And uh, that honor continues on to today. It's, it's awesome to be, be able to serve this way in a church. It's been a part of my life for more than a decade. Are you ready for the next wing? I'm now, ready. because you said you could do hot wings and you liked hot stuff, we're ramping up the the speed on these a little bit faster than we were. Okay. <clears throat> I'm in. Let's go. I'm going with the single bite. That one hit the upper lip and I can feel it. So the principle that we're talking about today that you chose to talk about is sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And in our uh, community, in our world today, we see a lot of privilege and we see a lot of um, just blessings that overflow that people don't necessarily see as, as that. Um, what, what does sacrifice mean? Or, and or what, what do you think of uh, all the privilege that we have? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think you have to look too long and hard to, to see it. I think it's easier to, or it's harder to not become consumed with it than it is to actually spot it. Um, <clears throat> for me, I, I, I have, I oftentimes catch myself disguising like blessings in my life is like some type of privilege that I feel like I earned as a result of my hard work or dedication to something and hold that that close to me and just sort of ignore even the, the concept or the, the, the thought of sacrifice altogether and sort of become blindfolded by privilege. I think there's, there's a danger in that and I ex I've experienced that in my life and I'm sure others have as well and I think the the danger is is when you have that blindfold on you sort of you have no opportunity to see 
probably right in front of you the the value or the 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 benefit to a little bit of sacrifice in your life can to have to others or to your community or or honestly even to yourself and i think that's i think that's dangerous and i think that's the uh i don't know it's reflective a little bit of the, the the country that we live in the area that we live in i think it's easy to overlook uh blessings and and remember that like sacrifice is a big part of that and and just become consumed with privilege are you ready i'm ready this This is is the bomb i don't know i don't know what to expect this isn't the one okay this is the hot one Tastes terrible. <clears throat> Is cursing permitted? Is that inappropriate? That's one of the foulest things I've ever tasted. And it is hot. Oh. So when gracious. most people think of sacrifice, they think of giving something up. But <clears throat> Jesus teaches and showed that when we sacrifice, we actually gain. What do you think it is that we gain? Uh, I think that... <clears throat> Oh, pardon. Uh, I think the I think we gain perspective. Absolutely, I think that, that, that's the easy answer to that question. We definitely gain perspective, um, but I think we're rewarded. Um, <clears throat> I think the more that we sacrifice of our resources, our time, our heart, anything that we've been blessed with in our life, I think the more that we're rewarded. And I don't necessarily believe that the the rewards are immediate or they're what they what you expect or what you hope for i don't think they're as timely always as what you think they should be i'm on fire <clears throat> um but ultimately i i do believe that, that we're re- rewarded for it and I, th- I think it you know one of the rewards that that i believe we see and hopefully others see when we do sacrifices that we begin to to look and, and, and act more like jesus Give me hard to answer these questions, man. That is hot. Ready to give it a go? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ready. Next wing. This is sauce number nine on the show. That was a bigger bite than I needed. I feel like I'm going to choke on it. How is it that you feel you are being challenged when it comes to sacrifice? <clears throat> oh, boy. <clears throat> I think it's all right here. I can... <clears throat> um, on the surface, I think sacrifice seems easy, right? Like, I, I sacrifice <clears throat> without a second thought for my... For my kids, for my wife, for my family, for my friends, and I think that's important. That's obvious. Um, I think that's just being a good father, a good spouse, a good family member, a good friend. But I think the the sacrifice that God ultimately calls us to do, I think, man, that's it's tough. <clears throat> it's tough to to think about giving up, you know, <clears throat> something like blessings or privilege that, that that we have in our life. But ultimately, I think it's it's supposed to be difficult. I think it's supposed to make us uncomfortable because there's growth and discomfort. And ultimately, I think that's what that God wants for us to continue to grow, to continue to, to evolve. And, and I think like, you know, sacrifice allows that to happen. Ready? Is this the last one? <clears throat> All right, Owen, we've made it to the Last wing. This is the last dab. They call it the last dab because it's tradition on the show. Put a little extra on the last wing. You don't have to if you don't want to. I just don't want to dump too much. You can't taste anything as it is. I think my upper lips are as hot as my tongue. <laughs> Cheers. So what do you think it would look like 
if all the followers of Jesus in discovery lived out sacrifice in the way God calls us to. <sighs> do you mind running that back? <laughs> <laughs> what do you what do you think it would look like if all the followers of Jesus at discovery lived out sacrifice in the way that God calls us to? <clears throat> I think a lot of <clears throat> oh, I think a lot of lives would be saved. Nah, I don't mean that from like a, a life and death type of scenario necessarily. I think more of like lives saved while you're still living, if that makes any sense. Um, <clears throat> I think the, the more that we sacrifice um, of our time, of our resources, of our heart, uh, of anything that we've been blessed that, that could be of benefit, of value, of help to, to others, um, I really think that <clears throat> that helps the, you know the, the situation that, that would hopefully help I'm sorry I'm losing it <clears throat> I think if we sacrifice the the more that we sacrifice the more that um, that gives opportunities for others to benefit from our sacrifice and hopefully like experience the evolution that we did by sacrificing and get the opportunity to sacrifice for themselves and sort of pay it forward and I think ultimately if we as discovery can can start those <clears throat> dominoes falling in, in in the right way and in the right order. I think there's a lot of power behind that. Very well done. Thank you very much for being here. Happy Father's Day to you. Appreciate it. Thank you.